Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Boris Ursus and Ulrika Magdoga, Magdova Stragov. It's it's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, campaign. Huzzah. Get it? Huzzah? Because he's a czar. Huh? So, we are going to wipe out uh, these Chaos Dwarfs. There are going to be others, though we are giving the other Dwarfs a lot of respite. So we're going to see if that pays off for us. It does seem like they're kind of crushing it. Um, in the mountains, though hopefully that means they'll want to push out of the mountains. There's a lot of chaos running around. Uh, Kislev is almost dead. We need to save our daughter from almost certain um, death, which isn't great. And she may even jump into a chaos portal to try and compete for the demon souls lark. So um, we got problems. We got problems. Although I do wonder, actually, we're technically. Oh no, I. Yeah, I forgot how this worked. I was thinking it'd be really cool if we just enabled her, uh, you know, Zardina Catherine, to, to do the main objective. And we could just play backup. We could just make sure that she succeeds in everything else. We could, like, fight off chaos. Um, if there are people uh, ahead of her in the race, we could go into the same domain and attack her enemies. Stuff like that. I think that would be really cool to play this sort of supporting role in the campaign. Um, even if we technically lose the campaign for not actually doing the objective, whatever doesn't matter because it's only one representative from each faction and we are representing Kislev in this campaign so that's that <laughs> that's that very annoying anyway um, so Peter we need to destroy this uh, you're not going to be able to do it yet and we spent all our money what do we spend all our money on? everything that's what okay fine I'll undo some of the building I'd completely forgotten we had that ongoing. So, more of you. They are very cheap, and we can get a lot of them. Apparently not that many. Um, let's also stop that as well, then. I hate how much we are eating into our um, our income doing this. In fact, I could do that as well. There we go. That's a good spread. So if we do that, that should mean we can attack this next turn and win. And then start heading south to destroy this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, must have been because the Nurgle portal. Always, always gets me. Always gets me. Our ally has begun an outpost in Uzkulak. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully this will actually give her some better recruitment options. You know, she can get war sleds from us now. Uh, well, once it's finished building. But also, it's nice that this uh, area could get attacked by a bunch of different folks, and it'll remain safe, which is nice. Um, well, safer. It'll have a slightly better garrison, thanks to the um, outpost, which is good. So, hello. Hear me roar. Rawr. Do we want this territory, or are we just going to uh, raise it to the ground? We'll take it for now. We'll take it for now. In fact... Let's see if they want it. Because I do want to make... A, like, I do want to be on good terms with all the dwarves, you see. So, what we can do... Is I can say, hey, do you want... Mount Gunbad? Huh? Huh? Mount Gunbad? It's lovely. You like it. And let's be, be in a military alliance. Hell yeah. Just immediately... Fantastic. I mean, the dwarfs would love such a huge gesture as, as like, a, a dwarf hold being returned to them, right? So it makes sense. I just didn't think the game would appreciate how big a deal this was. I thought they'd be kind of jerks about it. Uh, they wouldn't give us a grand for it as well. This is perfect. I agree. Yeah, excellent. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is excellent. Oh, I'm so happy about that. That is so good. All right. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, now I'm really gutted that we can't take Silver Pinnacle and give it to, like, you know, Zufbar or something. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, and we captured that, which gave us money as well, which is amazing. I don't think uh, the game expects us to then sell it, but it's pretty great. And also, you haven't shown me all the things yet, have you? Faction destroyed. War host of Zar. Incredible. We really are the dwarves' uh, best friends. We really are. Oh, I love that you can trade settlements now. You can really roleplay. It's great. So, let's have a look. Stand your ground. 
Sandy ground is a good one. Uh, elemental regeneration. Shame we can't get those bears yet. That would be nice. Alright, let's get that. Ulrika Magdova. Can get a uh, confident all rounder. Let's get increased mobility. Let's get increased mobility. I can get two things. Let's get um, confident all rounder. I might ignore a lot of the spells for a while, although getting to Arcane Conduit would be amazing now that I think about it. Because that'll help any other spellcaster. And just having more spells gives us a larger range of spells, so, you know, it's good, broadly. Um, okay, so now I'm thinking, do we try and wipe out this jerk as well? Because Astrogoth has certainly done well. He's certainly done well, and he is at war with our allies. Ooh, we can intercept that guy, maybe? Because I am tempted just to smash all of the Chaos Dwarfs as quickly as possible. It feels like an important thing to do. Anyway, let's go handle this first. Uh, we should probably get a Patriarch as well. To trespass upon the Chaos Realms is to step into a nightmare. Four domains ruled by their cruel masters. Nurgle, the master of plagues. Slanish. The Lord of Excess, Tinch, the Changer of Ways, and Corn, the Blood God. We must visit each realm and steal a soul from a demon prince. For it is these souls, one from each of the great powers, merged together, that shall light the hidden path to the forge. And we'll get to that. Um, but for now, we're just going to close this, actually. My bad. Uh, so, do I want to fight this just for the sake of fighting some, uh, some more ex exotic enemies? You know what? I am going to fight them. Okay, let's uh, line these up. Line these up behind. You stand there. Uh, let's inch forwards a bit. Just so we're not in the trees. Even though we can shoot out of the trees fairly uh, fairly well. Oh, they're coming. The rot flies of Nurgle. They're so cool. I absolutely love them. I also love that they're born out of bitterness. These literally grow out of um, beasts of Nurgle that have basically been spurned uh, by... Uh, by... by men and creatures who don't uh, reciprocate their affection. So they'll be like, oh yay, someone to play with, and obviously they're disgusting and horrible and, and vile, and so people don't want to play with them, and that bitterness literally grows into one of these things, uh, which I love. It just shows that, like, all of the love of Nurgle is completely shallow. It's a disgusting, twisted form of love. Um, it's entirely selfish, and just full of bitterness and it's it's horrible it's it's toxic it's absolutely toxic so start blasting god so cool well guess they're gonna get a bit of a reprieve let's try and shoot some of them down while we can you charge in These guys are doing well. Alright, keep shooting, guys. Keep shooting. Nope. <laughs> oh, boy, ah. <laughs> Got sent flying. Boy, oh, boy, ah. Alright, they're getting dealt with. Harold of Nurgle's going to be causing problems. Alright, flee. Flee. Get it? Flee. Because he's infested with fleas. Wasn't actually a joke I was making, but I am now. I am now. Okay. Kill him. No, you you run at him, everyone else can shoot. Pin cushion that Harold. Nice. We herald the beginning of the sewing circle. Pin cushion that man. How great do the heralds look? A little nurgling on his shoulder. A bell on his head. On his antlers. So cool. Horrible. Just horrible pus-covered sword as well. Amazing. 
They're great units. And there goes Vilepus, Pincushion of Nurgle. I'll always remember him. Uh, so let's get uh, money out of it. Let's get money out of it. Got himself a horse. Don't know where he found that. Uh, and we closed a Chaos Rift, so a bit more cash again. Love all these quests. They are big help. Now, route marcher, because we need to march some distance. Uh, let's make sure this is defended. And that there's money coming in. And we need to keep upgrading everything. Well, not everything, not that. <laughs> like, upgrade everything, I immediately ignore some upgrades. Um, so I can upgrade something else instead. It's just how I roll. Um, this stuff will all need some extra extra love and attention soon. Um, do we want to maybe get an orthodoxy church here as well? Right, maybe. Though this is in the safest spot. It really just depends if these dwarfs want to be friends with me or not. They do seem friendly, but not friendly enough for a non-aggression pact, which has me a little bit nervous. Uh, also, do you want to trade, maybe? Let's just see who wants to trade. Jade Custodians do. Excellent. Okay, that's good news. Bit of extra cash coming in. And I'm over here in Jade Custodians now. I didn't need to go over there to send an offer, you know. Could have just, like, sent them a text. Um. Oh, right, this was the same turn. Sure. Okay, so we need to run down here and declare war on them, I think. Because it'll take too long to go all the way up and around to start fighting our daughter's enemies. Uh, although, Valky the Bloody's right there. Oh my word. Please tell me you're all Valkyr. Okay, Ewarts Rodzina might, uh, might help here. Yeah, this is a problem. I got Prague as well. This is a nice way for me to be able to take Prague without declaring war on Kislev, though. Though, I think if I did do that, I would probably just hand it over to her daughter. I like the challenge of having, like, a weird other realm. You know what I mean? I think that's what makes this campaign interesting. But having to run over there to go help is also quite um, unique. You know, maybe I should head over here first and then south into this area. I can use the roads that way. And maybe close that on the way, just some extra experience. But yeah, maybe I'll go get rid of that. And then Peter can actually head over here and help back these guys up. Uh, or I could go around. And I could get rid of, like, Frozen Landing, for instance. You know, that would really help limit the amount of... I will decapitate you. Hmm, amount of decapitations. Uh, it's a tough one, but skirting along here might be good. I just worry we'll have loads of Chaos Incursions just heading this way. Which we'll have to deal with for a long time. Yeah, maybe just go into Kislev and start defending. Help, um, help our daughter build an empire. Only the most skilled may serve. I, deserve a <laughs> I guess we'll just get loads more Kossars. Yeah, alright, we're just gonna do everything with Kossars. It's fine, they're cheap, they're effective. We'll make it work. If we have to replace that army every now and then, that's fine too. Shall put an end to your foul sorcery. Oh no. Okay, so it's actually Drazo Theashen that's declaring war on us. Where's he? Is he here? I think he's here. And Astrogoth's right there. Wow, okay, you're in a lot of trouble, mate. Yeah, we need to push down here and, and clear this area out. This is tough. This is going to be tough. Fun, though. But yeah, we are going to have to wipe out the Chaos Dwarves before we do the main quest. Which, honestly, will give us like a nice jumping off point if we decide that, you know, that's all we want out of this campaign. We don't need to finish this. It's just, you know, I always finish a campaign when I feel like we've done like a good, you know, we're at a good ending point. It doesn't always need to be what the what the game says is is what completes the campaign. So, it takes complex machinery, the keenest eye, and considerable skill to fashion lenses good enough for use in high-grade telescopes and spyglasses. Sure does. So, yeah, I might leave them to it for now. But, uh... <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit nervous about it. About leaving them to it. Though they do have 
quite a large area and I can come back and liberate it for a, for a price, you know. So let's just have him run the heck over here. Okay, we can get there in, in three turns and change. Well, two turns and change. So we can, we can start heading down here once we dealt with that. And oh, oh, check it out. He's not going to last here, but he's trying. Oh dear. Ungrim, are you headed down here too? No. Ungrim, are you coming to declare war on me? You better not be, mate. You better not be. Let us speak quickly, for I wish to fight. Oh bloody hell! Come on, man. What what have I done? Look, we've done plenty of stuff that he seems to like, and our attitudes are improving. Oh, I really hope he decides not to declare war. But this is like obviously he's moving to fight us, isn't it? Oh my word, this sucks. <laughs> All right, won't build anything there yet. I really can't afford to have a war with Ungrim. That's so annoying. Okay, I'll just get some upgrades. And let's actually upgrade this barracks now. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind. As much as I want to get more um, variety of units, I also want to make sure that I keep recruiting units. So, there we go. It's pretty weak. Um, now let's see, actually. How are you looking? You've basically got a full army. I can probably afford just to, like, turn that off, maybe? Perhaps? Just go for some extra cash instead? We'll see. But god, we got problems. Say the word, and the pulks shall be mobilized. Hey, booby. Uh, once we join more against the disciples of Hashet, I will do that. I will do that. It will mean this stuff will probably get attacked before I get to it, but that's fine. As far as I'm concerned, it just means the enemy will be cornered. Hey, Ungrim. Come on, man. By the throng of Drengi. I am intimidated. You keep stumbling over all my territory. I mean, it seems he is just going from one place to another, but, like, come on. Oh, it sucks. Boris Ursus himself. Yeah. Too right. Okay, let's get over here. And you can keep moving this way. Uh, so we can go, you know, take uh, Sapuxi, we can take Volksgrad. I mean, these are all ones that are actually owned by uh, What's-Her-Face, who has been killed, maybe. Okay, maybe Valky the Bloody got taken out, though there are... Yeah, there are demons running around everywhere. Definitely got problems. But yeah, maybe we can get in here and do some work. Uh, one thing I do need to do, though, which I haven't been doing, I need to get a Patriarch. Didn't get any Patriarchs over here. Melee defense within own territory is really quite nice. Extra leadership when fighting against uh, all the Chaos stuff, including Chaos Dwarfs. I do like the Chaos Dwarfs have been added to all of these numbers. Oh, okay. Uh, Karak Vlag is getting getting an outpost. They would put an outpost in the mountains, wouldn't they? Raise or sack Shock Tracken. I mean, I could probably do that, actually. I could probably do that with, uh, with our boy here. Could probably get that done. Uh, yeah, even more. <laughs> even more of them. Now, let's get that upgraded. We may have to come back for that at some point. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, buddy. Oh, well, we'll, we'll fight them. That's fine. They'll want to fight us in a minute. Uh, can't upgrade anything here. I mean, I suppose I can get a church. Do I need a church? I mean, maybe. Our, our control is a little low. But a lot of that is because of the chaos corruption. So, we could probably lower chaos corruption too, couldn't we? All right, let's build a church in the desolation of Drachmore. Drachmore. Okay, that'll do. Moving on. You accord Kislev her deserved respect. Please tell me you're not declaring war. You must do better. <laughs> Trade. Trade. Yeah, us humans got to stick together, right? Well, there's chaos running around. And dwarfs that we're not sure if we've insulted or not. And this guy who's demanding more car. No car. No car for you. Uh, you, have an obsidian lodestone, I suppose. Good. 
And uh, we've got Arcane Conduit. If you get better bears. When do we unlock this stuff? Rank 20. Wow. It's going to take a while to get over here then. Uh, yeah, Guardian's cool. I say a while. She's rank 17 already. Which is pretty good. Okay, so we don't need to fight this, but we're going to because we haven't actually seen Ulrika Magdova in action yet. Alright. That is so many men. Right, you move there. You move here. Uh, we're going to strangely flank with the armor. No, that doesn't make any sense. Although it actually kind of does the blood letters. Hmm. No, we're going to put you out front. Alright, everyone else has got a nice um, firing arc, so they can just shoot over your head. But the blood letters will be a little scary. Uh, they will be a little scary, because they do have a lot of armor piercing. Good anti-infantry. Okay, maybe don't scream that. Also, I don't think there's a lot of blood in a blood letter. They don't, they don't, they're not blood sharers, or blood havers, blood letters. She can really do with a mount, can she? <laughs> this has got a cool silver daggers. Ooh, what's she doing? Are you searching for truffles or something? I'm going to assume the vampires are natural truffle pigs. Um... Nice. Little Grom. Little Grom, big accuracy. Oh, so look at this. What's this? This little forge? Little, 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 just like a tiny little factory. Wow. This makes, um... This makes pencils for the, for the Dowie's art. That's why they make little, little watercolour sets. There's little sets of watercolours. Yeah, that's why they make those. Oh, you aren't coming to me. I thought you'd be coming to fight me. Okay, they are coming to fight me. They're just taking their time. I was going to go attack them, you know, if they weren't coming. But if they're coming, I'll just wait. It's fine. we would have been here for a minute. <laughs> I probably could have attacked. <laughs> Too busy looking at the little colouring pencil factory, you know. Can't help it. So what's the range on here, anyway? 180, it's pretty good. Alright, they're getting rather shot. Oh, there's even more of them. Exciting. Exciting stuff. Um, yeah, let's get you out here. Yeah, they're going to run in a sec. Yeah, bears just have too much armor. And terror. Not a terror. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'll just I'll hit you because you're all all on top of each other, which is marvelous. And uh, then I will slow you all down. Hilarious. All right, they're crumbling. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, let's buff your damage. And they're about to break. And their lord died? Just got shot to death, I think. Nice. Oh, we actually lost a bear! Oh, we lost one unit. And it was a bear. Ah, maybe more if we end up getting shot by all our own arrows. So there we go. Decisive victory. Not bad. Uh, we'll pick up some watercolours on the way out. Okay, good stuff. Could get some money out of it. Could get a bunch of devotion out of it. I say a bunch, 60. I, mean, it's, I guess it's a fair bit, but it's stable at the moment. Um, I don't think we're doing a lot of uh, invocations right now, but it will add up once we get into hell. Does it go money? Really need to keep upgrading our infrastructure. And uh, yeah, it's, the, it's all the war that's doing it, so... Yeah, more cows dead. Anything else? Unlocked a regiment of renown. And we've got ourselves a horse for Ulrika. Good. Uh, nope, not going to enter any domains just yet. I know, it's a shame. And we are going to fight these guys. With auto resolve, because what's the point of fighting that? Um, pardon the captain. Makes no sense. Makes no sense, of course. 
Absolutely none. Okay, we're about to get to the gates of Sal. And then down to the town of Gorgoth. Pretty soon. Looks like Astrogoth will take Crookback Mountain, though. Which is a bit annoying. But hopefully they're about to stem this attack. They're not going to be able to, are they? Probably not. Probably not. But it's okay. We'll start taking uh, taking their territory over. Goldmine over here would be nice. Be a tower of Gorgoth is a tower, right? Nope, they didn't build it as a tower. I don't know. What did they? I guess they built it as a tower? It's not showing the icon for the type of settlement it is. So it's not saying if it's a factory or an outpost or whatever for us. So, uh, I don't know. But I think the Tower of Gorgoth is a tower type. I think they built it that way. Just from the, the building slots here. So, towers are. Let's build that up higher. Start trying to build some garrisons where we can. And more farmland, obviously. Love a good farm. And let's get to Streltsy. And I can't afford to upgrade anything else there. That is fine. Uh, right, you keep moving. You keep moving. Is that in friendly territory now? It is. Yeah, I couldn't see the border, but we just passed it there, didn't we? Yeah. It's fine. That should be fine. Oh, also, we do have uh, Igor. <laughs> I love how they shout that. <laughs> Patriot of Kislev! Okay, what, what is going on? Bulls of Doom. Bulls of Doom. Bigger church. Nice. Okay, nailed it. Now, Boris Ursus. Uh, Band of Brutes. We've got to get it eventually, guys. And uh, let's have a look. Uh, cavalry Woman with a charge bonus. Extra armor might be good. She does have quite low armor. Extra melee defense is usually better, though. Although, maybe you want to use her as more of an assassin. Or we just increase mobility some more. Oh, she leveled up again. My bad. That was her shouting, Hi, Priest of Urson! She's, she loves doing uh, impersonations. It's a big, big character trait. Just loves it. Loves it. Although, um, shadow magic kind of lends into that whole illusionist stuff. So there's, there is actually some uh, some truth to that um, that lie that I just made up. Um, so, yeah, let's go with... Prudent Defender. All right, I want my I want my army to be very stout. Uh, I know it's too far. You got turns, don't worry. Okay, moving on. <laughs> it's just gonna say help, help. <laughs> join the war against Voldenhof. Yeah, sure. I can join all the wars she wants me to join, because it means the enemies will be like traveling towards our territory more times than nothing. You know, it's just one army will occasionally wander over here. It gives us some respite. But gosh, she's a war with everyone, though. Eliminate Astrogoth Iron Hand. Perfect. I was planning on that. Planning on doing just that. Um, okay, what's next? God, I've got to say, just knowing that I'm ignoring this for now is, is a huge, huge source of tension for me. Um, yeah, let's just book it. Okay, we'll buy enough Josie. That does not have much of a garrison, but it doesn't have nothing, so that's fine. Do I leave that there? I should probably get rid of that, shouldn't I? Oh, he took Plesk. He took Plesk. Okay, that's good news. And also, ruins? I can take for free, though that might not be ruins. Oh, there is Nurgle corruption going up. I was going to say, it could be Skaven, because Help is around here somewhere. Um, but I can take that for free without any cost at all because of Boris's um, awesome trait. Hear me roar. So, uh, Kallik Vlag, I want to make sure it's defended first. And then here, I might actually, with Seep Gore, uh, just go with income. Just raw income rather than doing. Um, you know, the sort of growth and stuff. Let's go raw income. Because, you know, it's, it, 
I kind of like the idea, just having this being more a little bit more metropolitan. Like it's a it's an army base and and has you know is a trade hub, sort of a safe place for trade to take place. And it's in the mountains as well, so you know. Because where is it? Yeah, Steep Gore. Okay, it's leading into the mountains, so a great place for like goods to come from the mountains to be traded. I like it. There's this. It makes me more money, and so I think it's a wiser choice. But also, I like there to be story elements, and it feels like a natural, natural thing to have that odd variety. You will be food for the bear. Oh no, are you joking? You're declaring war on me as well? This is insane. Everybody wants to fight me. Oh well, Foxmakers and Nurgle doing things. Also, it's nice to see that Grimgore is actually on the map. And the Realm of Chaos map. He didn't used to be, did he? Or did he? Maybe he did. I can't remember if they put him up there on the before Immortal Empires came out. Um, maybe he was there, maybe he wasn't. I, I don't recall him being there. He's certainly there now, though. Uh, so, let's go with scouting. Cool. So, we've got an army running off into, like, someone else's territory to try and bail them out. Um, while our own territory is being attacked from, like, every, every direction in its mum. These guys, I think, spawned from there and actually destroyed a bunch of our al uh, not allies, a bunch of our enemies in the process. So, I'll take it. Um, I think we can handle them with Uzkalak. He's got a pretty good garrison. And we have our Atomid in there as well, I believe. Yeah, that's not bad. We got some extra units thanks to uh, that outpost. So we got extra Cossars and Cossars for spears. We got a couple of extra units, not bad. Against a slow moving force like Nurgle. Uh, very worried about what's going to hit the Fools of Doom, though. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, their garrison. This must be a tower because they have a lot of Chaos Dwarfs here. So I wonder do we want to attack this? I'm not sure I can. Yeah, I'm not sure I can suffer those casualties. So I guess we're going to fight it. I'm a little concerned. This is a little scary, I must say. A little frightening. Uh, what is that? That's dual axes. So they're the anti-infantry, but they do have the armor piercing as well. So they're still going to be a little bit frightening. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So. We can't even fit them all on screen. Okay. Uh, you guys know the drill. Alright, we got a couple of layers. Uh, you guys... Probably try and climb the walls, right? Probably have them try and climb the walls. Seems wise. All new lot. Gonna smash down those gates. And, uh, yeah, you lot do your thing. You can shoot something. Don't you shoot a wall? Maybe I shoot that wall. Maybe I shoot that wall. Maybe I climb that wall. We're gonna smash down that. You guys are gonna inch forward so you can shoot uh, all the hobgoblin archers. Good. Nailed it. And, uh, oh right, yeah, he's actually turned you to attack that properly. He was trying to shoot at it, which obviously doesn't work. Uh, okay. Now, what works here? Can I hit them all with the Heart of Winter? Is that massive overkill? It's 22. Uh, Winds of Magic. Definitely feels like overkill. Okay, let's move you guys further up, because you're clearly not in range of any. Are you guys? Yeah, you guys are. Suffering a lot of damage in a front line. But I feel like we're doing some good damage in kind. Okay, we should be through this pretty quickly. <laughs> through this wall, maybe? Probably not. Alright, we're getting damage in. Alright, let's pull you guys back. Okay, why are none of you shooting anything? Like, shoot these guys or something. Come on. Really? You can't shoot from there? That's crazy. Firing arc apparently not a thing in this game at the moment. Come on, shoot them. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Alright, we're almost through. Oh wow, we are getting through there. Okay, now some of you guys are shooting. That's what I like to see. And you're through, right? Good. Okay, 
Okay, let's move you lot up. And you lot. You're going to be slightly layered on top of each other here. That's okay. Now, let's see here. Let's get ourselves some spells popping off. Okay, good. Okay, so those hobgoblin archers we should be able to start shooting at now. You'd be so kind. That's going to break down pretty quickly. Dude, come on. What, what are you doing? What are you doing out in the cold? Hard to say. Guys? Please don't tell me you guys are stuck. This isn't destroyed yet. That gate's not destroyed yet. We were just in because of some ludicrous accident, apparently. Alright, fine. Let's, uh, continue to spell them. Let's spell at them real good. Oh, and good. You guys are just going to charge in here now. Guess that works. Uh, you keep destroying that, though. Alright. Get some spells out there. Or some abilities, rather. Alright, how are you lot doing? You doing well? You guys, you guys happy? They don't seem happy. You go away. You get out of there. And you. Also you lot. I don't know what you're doing. Move over here, please. Thanks. Uh, cutthroats. Archers. Laborers. Some. I'm worried about blunderbusses showing up. There they are. I found them. They're over here. Don't quite understand what they're doing. And uh, I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, okay, so let's look at group three. All right, let's get rid of you two from group three. And now the new group three can form up over here. Good. Okay, brilliant. Oh, uh, are we through here? Should be, right? Yep. We just captured it. Okay, cool. Good enough. Now, this feels like a juicy time to use a big spell. Because we do have a lot of magic. Now, let's use some spells on our bears. Give them a big boost to their damage. 168 damage. Marvellous. So yeah, we should be through these guys pretty quickly. Aldrich and Magdover's doing pretty well here, by the looks of it. You know, fighting Chaos Dwarfs. No easy thing. Yeah, that seems to do quite well. How much damage have you done? 15,000. I will take it. Uh, found the Centaur Riders. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> How's it going? Ooh, hello. That thing's shooting at us too. Rude. Uh, well, a bunch of towers are going to get destroyed in a second, which is really nice to see. Okay, let's get you in here. I really want to be able to shoot those blunderbusses. Like, really badly. Ooh, god, they are getting through them quick, huh? Can you can you even shoot them? Apparently you can. I'm not seeing much evidence of that, though. Okay, you need to move over there. Oh god, very worried about the blunderbusses. Okay, go deal with those centaur rider, uh, centaur renders. Oh, there's a barricade there. Of course there is. Yeah, very worried about them. Where's the Grum? Here it is. Boom! Excellent. Excellent. Truly excellent. How are we looking? Well, they killed half of them. Had a unit basically wiped out. Just decided to escape into the tunnels, I suppose. No, stop. Stop. Go over here. Come on. Get over here. I need you to fight those centaurs, man. Okay, we've done some really good damage to them. Still very worried about our bears, though. So I'm actually going to have everyone. Everyone run over here. 
Okay, they're running that way now? Damn. Well, now I don't know what the plan is. Okay, they're manning that station. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, bears are in. We're gonna help deal with these guys. It's gonna be great. At least I hope so. God, still got a lot of stuff back here too. A lot of stuff. Okay, let's use a nice uh, single target damage spell to handle them. Okay, again dealt with. Alright, Boris. You're gonna go for him. You have to hope this works. A load of them are climbing up ladders, which is so infuriating. Alright, start shooting over there, please. Yep, yeah, we got into the blunderbusses. Should be fine. Should be fine. And we managed to deal with them, but my god, the damage we took over there is, is pretty pretty bad. Uh, here comes one of their lords. Alright, you guys are going to have to destroy that first. Come on. Alright, let's get you over here. Yeah, we need to capture that. How are you doing? 88 kills? It's not bad. Not bad. Come on, mess them up. Got more bears on the way. Dealt with them pretty well. Uh, that barricade's not there anymore because we captured this. That's good news. And that's more blunt buses. Run. Run. Yeah, go, go handle it. Alright, Bez, you're coming back. We have so many archers just being <laughs> useless over here. So loads of dwarf warriors. Uh, that's just goblin cutthroats, though. We can capture that pretty easily, though, I think. Oh, we need to get rid of that first, I think. But, yeah, I think we're in pretty good stead over there. Um, start shooting them, maybe? Yeah, try and handle them. Still got a bears running. Oh, you can head over here, deal with them. Okay, try and try and swivel a bit. Nope, they hit us. Hey, okay, who's shooting him? I'll tell you guys to shoot that guy. Alright, fine. Shoot them. Uh Ulrika. Kill them. Hope they don't do anything to trouble us. Alright, how are we looking over here? Uh, still get rid of the barricade? I'm certainly trying to. Okay, handle them, please. And, oh, they're off again. Let's just hit them with some spells. Okay, good. Nailed it. If we capture that, that's going to help. Certainly going to help. Okay, so we're almost through that. Good. Let's deal with those dwarf warriors. You can run over here. Bears can handle him. You are out of ammo, so I don't actually want you to go off on a bad journey. That would be bad. Uh, you're doing okay over there. I guess you can all shoot dwarf warriors now. We'll just ignore them. Oh crap, they are coming for us, aren't they? Oh god, I hate those things so much. Okay, you guys stay there. Bears are having a fun time. Alright, once we get them there, I'll move these guys away. Let's see. Okay. Oh, army loss is hitting. Oh, thank god. Please, please get out of here before you shoot. Excellent. Hate blunderbusses. Okay, they do so much damage. It is... It's just insane how much damage they do. You do not want to be in the firing line, especially not Lords of Heroes. It's insane. So, yeah, I'm very happy that we cut through them there. 
Yeah, close victory. Um, certainly a slog, but we made it. Okay, amazing. We did lose one unit. I'm fine with that. We did great. That was fantastic. So, let's... Uh, oh my god, I really want to sack it and then occupy it now. Now that I see how much money there is available. What am I over what what am I doing over here now? Oh my god. That's insane. The ice courts are at war with flipping everybody. I mean I know a lot of these are just like random um, chaos factions that, you know, spawn that we're all at war with. You know, they're the ones that come out of the portals, but still. Pretty mad. Anyway, we should get that pretty soon. Or we maybe just got it. Is he at war with his? Oh, I don't think he's at war with them. She's at war with the Legion of Asgore, though. Oof. Alright, hang on a minute. How many settlements you got? Seven. Seven. They haven't grown much. They've only grown by one since we checked. So now we're going to occupy it. Tower of Gorgoth is ours. We'll repair it. Hopefully it'll make us a bit of money. And um, for a few turns if it stays alive. Now Boris Ursus. Uh, elemental regeneration would be lovely, but we don't have any of those bears. Khan King will make the Kislevites love us more. It doesn't really make any difference, but it's it's thematic. I'm taking it. Heroic resilience. When our hit points are less than 50%, we we'll get 14 extra melee defense plus 8 leadership, which kind of counteracts that other skill that puts our leadership down by 8. So, you know, it's kind of nice. Chaos. Now, let's have a look here. Crystal Sanctuary isn't a terrible, terrible idea, but I would like to get cheaper. Yeah, we get minus two cost for Frostblade, so we can actually get it for five, which is going to be very, very impressive. So we're going to try and level that up. That's going to be really nice just to spam on our bear cavalry. Uh, lightning Fast. That's Missile Resist. Spell Resist. Yeah, i probably just go with more... Um... Uh, it's quite boring, but we don't get the really cool stuff until rank 14, which we are at rank seven already, so actually... It's not, not a long... Long time from now. So I could get Darz's Hearth Blades that are, that are our regiment renowned um, Zar Guard. What's that thing again? Uh, oh, they give vigor to, to nearby folks because it's it's Darz, you see, it's the god of the sun. So they, they emanate that warmth which keeps everyone's vigor high, which is fun. And uh, Urson's Claws, interesting. I don't think I'd got these items before. Maybe I had. These ancient fighting claws are believed to be the pattern upon which the Akshina modeled their weapons. So, extra 10% weapon strength, extra 10 armor piercing weapon damage, and the bound spell, Urson's Claws, which adds extra damage, base weapon damage, can cause terror and rampage. Which is kind of fun. You just cast that on an ally. Kind of fun. Uh, Ataman, Ataman's Administrator. Um, construction time down in a local province, that's fine. So are we going to give you those claws? You do? Oh, we get a Priest of Tal as well. Extra devotion gained for fighter girls faction-wide. I like that. So let's have a look. Urson's claws. Sadly, these are a common item. And yet I don't remember ever seeing them. But I think they're quite cool. And they are part of um, uh, a, a kit as well. Ursire. One that is kin with the Bears of Kislev. That's kind of fun. Just... Yeah, it's a shame they're only common, so they're not the best items. Get outclassed pretty quickly. You know, what's the point of having, like, a kit bonus if the kit is going to be obsolete so fast? Even with the bonus, you know? Feels a bit weird, but sure, whatever. Uh, so you've not moved yet. Um, I wonder... If, oh, we can't set up an ambush because we're too close to a city. Uh, so what I might do is just move on the very border of that and set up an ambush. Because we might get spotted, but if not, um, we may get attacked. Yeah, and we will get reinforcements. So even if we're just attacked, we should be fairly safe. Um, Dimitri might get rid of that guy. No. Looks like Zardina Catherine is doing okay, but she wants to run all the way over here to fight them. Yeah, we need to kill that guy so she can actually take territory back or fight something worthwhile. Okay, 
Um, so we're actually over time on this episode, which I didn't realise. That last battle took a while. So I guess we'll just end it here, but we're making progress. We are helping fight back the Chaos Dwarfs with our Dwarfen allies, and we do have troops back in Kislev trying to help our daughter regain her territory. It'd be really nice if we can actually like get her a decent chunk, because I think once she stabilises, um, she's going to have armies running around everywhere doing a hell of a lot of work for us. So we just need to trim some of the enemies off of her so she's not being attacked from quite as many directions. And I think I think we'll see some success. Hopefully. We may just need to stay here and prop her up, in which case, well, you know, she'll be fine. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Ursung shall be saved.